This video is not intended to be the sole means of education and training on the 800 megahertz radio system. We will now talk about the basic scanning features of the radio. Please consult your agency about the specific scanning functions of your specific radio. The scanning features are the types of scanning, how to turn scanning on or off, selection of talk groups for scanning, and viewing the scan list. The scan feature allows you to monitor activity on different talk groups by scanning a scan list. The scan feature treats the talk group that have selected from all other talk groups in the scan list. The priority level indicates the order in which talk groups will be prioritized. The talk group that you have selected by the talk group knob is considered a priority one. Activity on this talk group supersedes all other talk groups. Priority 2 scanning allows you to select a second talk group that supersedes all other non-priority talk groups. Non-priority scanning will scan all other talk groups that have been selected for scanning. However, there is no priority on any of these talk groups and activity on these talk groups will not interrupt other priority level transmissions. To activate the scan feature, turn the three position ABC switch to B. The scan icon appears on the LCD display as displayed here. If no talk groups are programmed in the scan list, list empty appears on the LCD display and a warning tone sounds. <phone rings> to select talk groups for scanning, press the program button on the display menu. Then press the scan button on the display menu. The display shows the programming mode status indicator, which is a flashing rectangle. Turn the talk group selector knob on the top of the radio and press the left or right side of the navigation buttons until you see the name of the talk group that you want to add to the scan list. Press the menu select button directly under SEL. The scan icon appears on the display. This talk group is now a non-priority member of the scan list. Each press of the SEL menu select button causes one of the following icons to appear. Scan indicator indicates the talk group is a member of the non-priority scan list. Scan indicator with dot indicates the talk group is a member of the priority two talk group. No scan indicator indicates the talk group is not a member of the scan list. Continue to add or delete talk groups as needed. A maximum of 10 talk groups can be added to the scan list. When you have completed programming the scan list, press the home button to exit the scan list programming mode. The programming mode status indicator and the menu select buttons disappear from the display. To delete talk groups while in the recall view, press the menu select button directly under DEL to delete a talk group from the scan list. Repeatedly press the menu select buttons under RCL, then under DEL, to quickly empty the scan list. There is no single button method to empty the scan list. When you have completed programming the scan list, press the home button to exit the scan list programming mode. To view the scan list, press the menu select button under view on the LCD. Press the menu select button under scan. The display shows the programming mode status indicator, which is a flashing rectangle. Repeatedly press the left or right side of the navigation button to see which talk groups are members of the scan list. The scan icon associated with the talk group indicates that it is a member of the scan list. Remember, a maximum of 10 talk groups can be added to the scan list. If you try to add more than 10 talk groups to the scan list, you will hear a warning tone to indicate that the scan list is full. If you designate a talk group to be the priority two talk group, previously designated priority two talk groups are demoted to non-priority status. Keep in mind that the talk group selected by the talk group selector knob always indicates your priority one talk group. This 800 megahertz radio has some special call and message features. They are the call alert pages and the emergency button. 
With Call Alert Pages, your radio functions like a tone-only pager. Call Alert Pages provide a means for dispatch to signal your radio. Call Alert Pages also allows the communication center to verify a radio is active on the system. Call Alert will only be initiated by dispatchers or supervisors. Receiving and answering a Call Alert Page When a Call Alert Page is being received, you will hear and see a continuous cycle of four alert tones. The bicolored LED light will blink green. The musical note icon will flash, and page received and the unit ID of the radio paging you will flash alternately on the LCD display. If you wish to respond, press the purple top side button. Press the press to talk button and speak. The emergency button, which is the orange button located on the top of the radio, can be activated by pressing down on the button. The emergency button sends out an emergency signal that takes precedence over any other signaling activity in progress on the selected channel. The alert is sent to alert a communication center to an emergency situation and to identify the radio emitting the emergency signal. To activate an emergency signal, press and hold the emergency button. Three short, medium pitch beeps are heard. The LCD display alternates between emergency and the name of the current zone channel combination. The radio switches to the agency emergency talk group. The microphone will open for 10 seconds of transmission. When the emergency alarm is acknowledged by communication center staff, your radio enters the emergency call state mode. To place an emergency call transmission, press the push to talk switch and transmit your message. Keep in mind that while your radio is in the emergency call state, it is locked onto the agency emergency talk group and does not scan. It is important that you exit the emergency state when you have finished. To exit, press the emergency button for one second or longer. A medium pitched emergency exit tone sounds until the button is released. The radio returns to normal operation. We will now address radio or system difficulties, such as managing your batteries, radio error codes, coverage problems, fail-soft issues, site trunking, and cleaning your radio. Managing batteries. If the battery voltage falls below a certain level, the battery icon flashes on the LCD to indicate a low battery. When the press to talk switch is released, you will hear a short high-pitched chirp sound to indicate a low battery condition. When the radio is in the receive mode, you will hear the high-pitched chirp at regular intervals. If a low battery indication occurs, replace the battery as soon as possible. Radio error codes may appear on your radio's LCD display. Some error codes begin with the letters FL and are followed by a numerical code. It is important to write down the error code number. The radio will not function until the error has been cleared. Attempt to clear the error by turning the radio off for at least 30 seconds and turning it back on. If the problem persists, contact your supervisor for further instructions. Other error codes begin with the letters ER. If the following message appears on the status display, it is important to write down the error code number. The radio will not function until the error code has been cleared. Attempt to clear the error by turning the radio off for at least 30 seconds and turning it back on. If the problem persists, contact your supervisor for further instructions. If you go beyond the range of the system or move into a dead spot and can no longer lock onto the system, the display will alternately display out of range and the currently selected zone channel combination. Your radio will remain in this condition until it locks onto the system again, locks onto a fail-soft channel, or is turned off. System Errors If the zone controller loses communication with the radio subsystem, the subsystem reverts to what is known as site trunking. Your radio does not display a warning when this occurs. When this occurs, 
you will temporarily lose contact with the communication center until they switch to backup radios. Radio communications with other mobile and portable radio users is unaffected. Also, you can only communicate with other radios within your own radio subsystem. While a subsystem is in site trunking, if you press the emergency button, the emergency alarm is not sent until you also press the push to talk switch. If your radio beeps and you see fail soft on the display, a major system outage has occurred. Fail soft constitutes a communications emergency. Communication should be restricted to essential messages only. During a fail soft situation, you may notice decreased in building and area wide coverage. While a site is in fail soft, communication centers cannot receive or acknowledge emergency alarms sent by mobile or portable radios. When normal operation is restored, you may lose all radio contact for several minutes while your radio reaffiliates to the radio system. A system outage constitutes a communications emergency. If you see out of range on the LCD display and it cannot reconnect to the system regardless of your location, a system outage may have occurred. This should occur in extraordinarily rare situations. If this occurs, you should switch to the conventional repeat talk group and turn the scan feature off. You may notice decreased in-building and area-wide coverage. Communication should be restricted to only those transmissions that are essential and cannot be communicated by cellular phone or mobile data terminals. If you need to communicate with others over a small geographical area, consider using the SOA, Scene of Action Channels. They operate radio to radio, independent of the radio system. Keep in mind that during a system outage, the communication center cannot receive or acknowledge an emergency alarm sent by mobile or portable radios. If the radio becomes soiled, turn the radio off before attempting to clean the radio. The radio can be wiped with a soft, damp rag. Use only plain water, very sparingly when cleaning the radio. Do not use detergents, window cleaners, or petroleum-based cleaning solutions. We hope that this video has provided you with basic education on the operation of an 800 MHz portable radio. You should contact your agency for specific operational features and programming regarding the specific model of radio that your agency utilizes.